right here we have the Epson Stylus Photo R2880. As you can see right now, the, um, this printer is not powered on. So I'll open up the top. As you can see, the place right where the print head is, it cannot be moved. So what we'll do now is that we will give it some power source first. Behind the printer, there no normally the printer comes with a cable, so I'm going to plug it in. The power button is right over here. Right now it's revving up. Give it a second. And then after that, I'm just going to unplug it. And I will open up the printer one more time. So the place of where the print head is, now I could actually move it freely, left and right. Okay. Okay, this is the type of screwdriver that we need. First step, there's a little white ribbon over here. So we just need to carefully dig it out, like such. As you can see, the ribbon right now popped out over here. That is step one. Step two, right now we'll move the hatchet back in place over here. And there's a little gray button over here, so we just lightly push it up. And you can clearly see the print head. At this angle, there's a piece of plastic that we need to remove. Right over here, this little piece right over here. So if you look at it closely, there's a little hole right over here, so you just stick the screwdriver in. And then you just pry it out. Now this piece is out. Right over here. Anyway, this is step three. I'm going to run the screwdriver between this gap right over here. Basically, this will break the chip and pry it open. So, you run the screwdriver inside, and then you pry it towards yourself once, and then back, and then you do it at both ends. Same thing. Pry yourself, and back. Pry yourself, and back. After that is complete, the chip should be loosely and, and you can pull it out with relative ease. This chip is right over here. The next step, right now you can visibly see the print head. There are three screws that you need to remove. Was one here, one on this side, and one on this side. Watch as I carefully remove it. One screw. Two screw. And the last screw is right here. Lastly, you will pull the print head out.
so be careful you can get ink on your hands so when you pull the print head out there's still one more wire over here that you need to remove carefully you just pull it right out now you have the print head in your hand and and be extremely careful with this piece right over here do not get the ink leak into this part this, this is a major component for the print head as I said earlier this part right over here is extremely important so what I would do is that I'll take some tape and just tape over it get some tape right over here just tape right on top of it prior to wrapping carefully once this part is taped up you're safe to wrap it please make sure you do not get any ink or any type of liquids on this part right here this part is extremely important 